Okay, so today is Friday, May 20th, 2022, and I'm going treasure hunting, metal detecting tomorrow, Saturday, here in Florida with a metal detecting club. So I need to get my little VLF uh, metal detector ready for the uh, for the day okay so what happens is this does not hold good enough so when I'm using this machine this shaft keeps going in and you know I'll have my coil on the ground and I pushing this shaft up. So I'm gonna duct tape the uh, shaft open, which is not ideal. I mean, the whole idea is to have it retracted, you know, be able to transport it in it, you know. But, this will have to do for now. This is my only little detector that is a VLF, except for my Bounty Hunter, which is an older machine. This isn't the greatest taping job either. But will it work? Yeah, it should work. All right, and then, as you can see here, Hopefully you can see okay. Let's see. My cat is loving my sandals. Okay, this is supposed to there we go. It's supposed to open up this piece here. So those several adjustments so this and I'll hold this is this good enough is it good or is this too high so let me see if I can't bring it down one make it comfortable it still might be too high Then one more. It's just kind of a cheap little plastic uh, machine. This should do. And then I'm always seeming to have a little trouble with my coil. Keeping it tightened enough. So I got pliers just in case. But we need to keep our coil to the ground while we're looking and just get it up enough just to move it around. But sometimes there's uneven surface, so you're going like this, around the bumps, around the sand, and then somebody will tell you you're doing it wrong because you're going like this, but they don't see that you're going over bumps. Hint, hint. No. <laughs> so we just go like this slow and steady you know this doesn't have a coil cover you know so it will get scratched on surfaces and then so I pretty much have it set about where I want it where it should be pretty comfortable you know this little thing works pretty good and then so what I could do is retract this up to the tape point, and that should be it. And then this, you know, could fold over, but then you have to keep tightening it and everything. And then this I could push in, but then I got it already set how I want it. So, let's see what we got here. 
Okay. Let's move our tripod a little bit closer. And this professional photography here. Okay. All right, so we got our, I'm reluctant to, I have to be careful with that setting. If not, I will. Okay, we've got batteries that go in here. We got, looks like we got, how many we got going in there? Let me check. I'll go get my batteries. Hold on. Look out, honey. What we got here? We got. We got a whole bunch of batteries, and I got my pinpointer in here with its battery. This battery thing here, but it doesn't stay shut. It wants to open up and spill everything all over the place. So I'll have to try and get some kind of tie or some, something for it. But how many batteries go in here? Double A. Oh, here it goes. Four double A. Alright. So we'll put four double A in the manner in which it asks. but it's much bigger. going to pick up metal things inside uh, the house. Metal things everywhere. Metal, metal, metal. So, let me at least turn it on and see if it works. Turning on, it's got batteries. It's set for all four. I should change it to. See, that's the. There we go. That's the. You set it. You set it to all four. You get your metal items. But if you take that off, then all you'll get is your coins and stuff. Your better items. And then the sensitivity goes up or down, the volume. Okay, so that's pretty good. There we go. Alright, so we're ready for tomorrow. I also have to get some headphones. My headphones for this item is in another area. So, that's pretty much it for now. Then I'll come back later with video from the hunt.